Hello everyone, in previous videos, we knew that Open Telemetry Java Agent and Open Telemetry Spring Boot Starter has auto-configured REST template. So REST template can propagate the trade context between two services without any interaction from us. Besides REST template, you may already know that Kafka templates and Kafka listeners are also auto implemented for us as well through injecting Open Telemetry to producer factory and listener container factory respectively. The evidence for that is so we can go to external libraries here. We're looking for open telemetry spring boot. So in meta INF, we have the spring dot factories file here. And in this file, we're going to see uh, we have the Kafka instrument station auto configuration. <coughs> and in this auto configuration class, we're going to see that we are create a producer factory customizer to injecting the open telemetry to the Kafka producer factory and we also see the bin post processor here to inject open telemetry to the listener container factory so in today's video we will implement a sort symbol demo to see how they work in action so we are going to have a Kafka here in Karab mode that's why we don't need to do keeper to manage a state. In Kafka, we have two listeners, one at port 1992 for communicating inside the Docker network. Like our order server will send an event to Kafka topic through Kafka 1992, and another port is at 2.1992, which we expose to the host machine. So our invoice server can listen to the event from the Kafka top bit at localhost to 1992. Okay, let's go ahead and implement it. First, let's configure Kafka listener in our invoice service. So we are going to build Radle and we're going to add a dependency for Kafka. So this is spring for object Kafka. Then let's move on to the application dot YAML. We need to specify where's our cap card and in addition to that we declare our cap card value deserializer. So remember that our invoice service is in the host machine. So that's why we connect to Kafka through localhost to 1992. By choosing value deserializer as by array deserializer, we need to add a record message converter being to convert this by array to the type that we expected in the Kafka listener. So let's go to the application and we're going to add a bin of record message converter. Read out to the lot, the Kafka dependency. Okay. By the way, let's create a Kafka topic where we send our event. We'll name it public order server orders domain version one. For the sake of simplicity, the partition is one and the replica is one. Okay, we've done with properties configuration for Kafka. Next, we're going to add some code to process event receiving. Let's say order server will send an order placed event and we are going to receive the order placed event in invoice server. Let's create this detail. record ordered placed event last step let's create an order sync as a component and in this order sync we're going to add our Kafka listener so we will listen on the topic that we just create the public order servit orders domain version 1 so when event come, we're going to lock it and bring invoice generating. Okay, that's it for consuming part in invoice service. Okay, let's go ahead and add cap card to our infrastructure in Docker Compose file. Here, we are using Kafka from Bitnami with a Karab mod enabled. 
with current mod, Kafka no longer depends on Zookeeper, so we don't have to deploy Zookeeper here and make the diagram straightforward. For this environment variable, you can take a look here. It's a bit of me package for the Kafka. For our purpose, we only need to focus on the listener. The first thing we want to check is the listener security protocol map. So basically, it's list down all the protocol that we're going to have. So we have the controller, internal, and external. So controller is for tariff settings, so we we're not going to talk about this. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about the internal and external. As we see in the diagram, we have internal and external, right? We also specified that the internal protocol will be the interbroker listener. It means for this internal will be used for components in the same network, internal network. In here is a Docker network. So for example, our other service is an internal component. And if we have another Kafka instance in the same cluster here, so it will be an internal component as well. So when a metadata request reaches our Kafka at port 1992, so it means listener port 1992 is internal. So Kafka will return the metadata for internal in the advertised listener. So it is Kafka 1992. And the service will follow this metadata here to send the next request, similar to external. So when the metadata request comes at 2.1992, then OK, please send our request to local hot 2.1992 in the next request. So that's why our invoice service is listen to Kafka through local hot 2.1992 and other service will send request to Kafka 1992. Okay, just it. And one small thing is to remove the invoice service because we are now running on local and export uh, 4317 in the collector. So 4317 because we are now in local res and we are connect to uh, the collector through 4317 export to the host machine network. Okay, so good so far. Now we only need to configure the reducing part in other server to send event to Kafka topic. It's similar to what we did in invoice service and to save time I already did that. Let's go to the invoice service and check out the branch. So the order service and we're going to check out the branch video 12. So check out I already here I made some update and you can see it in the readme file. So I added a new post API in the controller. Here's and I used a Kafka template to send our order place. So I had to create an order place event in here as well. Where's the Kafka templates come from? So the Kafka templates is auto configured for us by adding Spring Kafka dependency and in uh, application of YAML, we are going to tell where the Kafka is and the value serializer. Here is a JSON serializer. Okay, that's it for running. You can take a look at the readme here. So basically, I increase the version to six here. So in build radar, we am going to increase the version from five to six. And you can see that this is the Kafka dependency. Back to the Redmi. Then just run Rado clean build, chief docker build, uh, manage its stats to create the order service 0 0.0.6 snapshot image. Then back to our invoice service, we are going to increase the version of our order service from 0 0.0.5 to 0 0.0.6. And uh, okay, that's good. Let's spin up our application. So Docker post up my deed. Okay, everything are running. Let's send a post request to our order service. 
right so here we set our post request to all the server okay successfully then we need to run our invoice service here here we see that invoice service partition aside okay let's send another send another okay then let's check our lock so we see that receive the other event and invoice generating here that's good let's do it one more time and okay so we're going to receive the second other place event now let's check our referent admin admin skip okay uh floor temple third so all the service send an event right so let's take a look in order service so we hear order service so we see order service we place an order and it said an event to our cap card and in here we can see the span attribute so here we are going to see the topic name right the public order orders the one the partition of this topic seeing only have one partition so the partition is zero and the offset of this partition so that's good and we also see the span in invoice service as well so this is in invoice service when we received an uh, event so we also see we are the consumer invoice and we listen to the topic public order orders for one the consumer group is invoice of it and the partition the consumer group actually the id of a car listener so invoice of it uh, id for serve it also the partition and the offset the pilot and we can also check a lock here's invoice generating <coughs> and invoice placed received so basically the context is propagated between the two services by using cap card okay that's it for the video we will end this video here thank you so much for taking your time watching this video and this series hope you can learn something new here and see you in the next video happy coding